In this video we're going to talk about creating a polynomial given the roots. So we're going to find a fifth degree polynomial with roots at 1, 3, 4, and then a repeated root at negative 1 that has what's called a multiplicity of 2. That means it's repeated two times. We're also going to require that this polynomial goes through the point 212. That'll make it unique. I'll explain what I mean by that in a second. Now, in building a polynomial, if we know its roots, we know its factors. So if one is a factor, excuse me, if one is a root, then x minus 1 has to be a factor. And we can go along this route. If 3 is a root, then x minus 3 has to be a factor. If 4 is a root, then x minus 4 has to be a factor. Pretty, pretty slick, huh? Now we have a repeated root at negative 1. So if negative 1 is a root, that means x minus negative 1 is a factor, or we could write that as x plus 1 is a factor. Now right now, if you look, we have a degree 1, 2, 3, 4. That is only a fourth degree polynomial, but we said we were going to have a fifth degree. This root has a multiplicity of 2. That means it's a repeated root, which means the factor is repeated two times. Mul the multiplicity tells us how many times it's repeated. Now, there's an infinite amount of polynomials that goes through these zeros, even with that multiplicity of two, because every time I change the number out front, I get a different polynomial, but it still will have the same roots. So what that point 212 is going to allow us to do is solve for what that should be. So we should put a variable there, for instance, a. You can use pretty much anything, just don't use x since you already used it here. And what we're going to do is plug in, we know that when x is 2, the output has to be 12. So 12 is equal to a times 2 minus 1 times 2 minus 3 times 2 minus 4 times 2 plus 1 squared. So we have a times 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 minus 3 is negative 1, 2 minus 4 is negative 2, and here we have 3 squared, which is 9. So what we get is 12 equals a times, we have a negative 1 from those two, but when we multiply the 2 in we get a positive 2, so 18, divide both sides by 18, and we get a equals 12 over 18, or we could actually reduce that down to 2 thirds. So our unique polynomial is f of x equals 2 thirds times x minus 1 times x minus 3 times x minus 4 times x plus 1 squared. And we will just leave this in factored form. It would take a long time to multiply this out, but it's still the same polynomial. And that'll work anytime we're given the zeros of any polynomial and a point that it goes through.